Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we're gonna be up against Gokilla. Now before we start this video please give this a thumbs up, subscribe on my channel and turn on the notification to not miss an upload or stream from my channel. Let's begin. Okay, so confrontation type and the map would be the hidden trails. Okay, we're gonna have to start the battle soon, or the replay rather. Here goes, right off the bat, construction yard, blue boost infantry training, and barracks. Okay, then power plant, three supply depot, construction or training of infantry. Then as soon as those, as uh, soon as those two infantries are out, I'm going to be using Blue Infantry Attack for the bonus speed. Okay. There it goes. They're now out and we're going to have to fast forward by a bit. So we can get into the good part. Gathering the containers. Nice and neat. We got this one here. And this one of course. But this rifleman did not go above the clip over here. Okay, and now for the scout, level 2 HQ, and I am also going to level 2 HQ. Okay, level 3 HQ. And then I will be opting for the build, or the tactic, Jaguar Porcupine Chameleon Rush. And I opted for 1 Vehicle Factory, 2 Special Vehicle Factory, and I will be upgrading 1 so a level 3 for Chameleon. Here goes this one. Okay. And now let's see what he has. Level 3 HQ going level 3 I believe. Then I'll be doing another scout promptly. Or if my hunches were correct. He will be going for uh, Thor's. Okay now time to put scouts hidden in the trees. Okay, here goes. Scout over here. And this one will be killed. And there's like a bunker here that killed my uh, infantry. Now, I rallied my uh, produced troops over here. Okay, now as you can see, production of chameleon, porcupine, and jaguar. I already got like two porcupines going three, and now first jaguar is out. Now, this build is uh, good versus um, air spammers such as Vertex, Hawks, Thors, etc. Okay, if, you, if the map is like a middle sized map. Or a medium sized map rather. Okay. Third porcupine is out and the first chameleon is about to pop out in just uh, less than 10 seconds. And I was planning to produce an additional chameleon. I saved resources. Got like five supply depot here since this is like a medium sized map and the container is just not really that many to collect. Okay. And now second chameleon is out. No. Second chameleon in production. And I'm gonna have to rally them over here. Because I will be attacking at two fronts. Okay, now what I got here is now what I got here is three porcupines, two jaguars, one chameleon. And this one, I'll be rallying them over here as I will be attacking here soon. To keep in mind of the time, 5 minutes and 23, 24, 25. Yeah. Okay, here goes. I'm gonna go ahead and attack. Let's see what he has. Like three bunkers. Wow. Okay, okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and siege this base now. Let's see what will happen. Wow, torrents! Okay, now time to move around, of course. I'm gonna have to uh, relocate my army where he is not firing those uh, missiles of those torrents. Beagle attack, of course to uh, 
course increase the damage of vehicle once I destroy that again relocated since he switched the uh, force firing over here so I'm gonna go ahead and relocate it below now there's like a four six minute mark okay that was a very fast tour for building three bunkers and torrents very fast indeed okay still destroying some of these bunkers and some of the uh, infrastructure as many as I can and now it's time to retreat since the Thor might go ahead and bomb me again and the chameleon energy is about to run out and so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna have to retreat and recharge the chameleon energy and then thus far this second uh, group will be heading towards the uh, top right hand corner above the cliff let's see what will happen and then I opted for upgrading this to a level 2 special vehicle factory for Mammoth as you can see Mammoth is now in production okay two chameleons are out here and I'm trying to sneak a peek over here trying to uh, distract him as to lure the forces because I have yet to scout his base from what I know he has torrents and Thors let's see now there's like an infantry here okay now if there's like Thors what you need to do is this as you can see I did not march uh, uh, forward okay now let's see what will happen a Thor will be popping out here to bomb as you can see three Thors already at the seventh minute mark okay three Thors if I would have marched there I'm dead my army will be history okay now time to go ahead and lay siege above the cliff in the top right hand corner of this base since those Thors will be refueling at the same time I'm gonna be marching an attack over here as well and then time to retreat as those Thors might go ahead and bomb me again and then the attack over here the Thors bombed okay accidentally hit his own bunker and then as soon as I saw this th uh, torrent right here immediately since there's like four bunkers here I just rushed forward and same thing I'll be doing a, for the force above since he has yet to have hammers or anything like that to defend like, on ground or close range combat wow good hit by those Thors okay now time to get rid of this torrents which are really being a pain I'm gonna have to get rid of this uh, wow well, four Thors at the eight minute mark going nine minutes very fast Thors okay now time to move elsewhere okay now he's producing cyclones and bombing good thing I have one Jaguar over here and I'll be destroying this airfield that is being built airfield has been destroyed over here and I think that's gonna be the beginning of the end now again guys I've just used blue boost this is a proof of me using a blue boost on this battle I'm not sure as to Gokilla if he used gold red or blue boost but we have a contract of blue but yet again I think I was just lucky that he did not opt for full ground unit because the uh, passages here are like so small as you can see and I think that will conclude this battle now again the tactic that I've used was two special vehicle factory one vehicle factory of course the other one would be for chameleon the other one will be a level 2 special vehicle factory for mammoths since uh, if the battle got prolonged, I'll be adding an airfield over here or an avia factory uh, and so on. As you can see, as soon as I saw those Thors, I added anti-air, but it was no longer necessary as the Thors were used to defend rather than attack since I was the one attacking first. Okay, I think that's gonna be it. Yeah, that's gonna be it. <laughs> His base is already destroyed. Okay. And so we're going to go ahead and clean things up. Now to fast forward by a bit here.
Okay, that, that was a good game indeed, uh, but uh, those Thors are like super fast, you know, he was able to produce the Thors super fast. But uh, anyway, again guys, if you'd like the video, please give this video a thumbs up and also comment down below what are your thoughts into this video. Now, I would highly advise for you guys to check out my previous videos as it, as it contains tips, tricks that might help you win a battle. And if you would like to be a recruit, you may create a new account and click the referral link below the description in this video so that you will be or I will be your mentor and you will be my recruit and we can earn um, treasures or I can give you chest treasures and we can both earn from it as uh, as you proceed in a battle as you rank up etc. Okay. Now don't forget to subscribe on my channel and turn on the notification to not miss an upload or stream from my channel. And again guys, thank you for watching, have a great day, and good luck with your battles. Bye now!